good morning. Um, it's Friday and um, I am at the tail end of my trip um, to Connecticut. And you guys, I am so sorry um, because I really meant for this trip to be um, really fruitful in terms of content. Um, I was really like anticipating vlogging much of my trip and um, that sort of thing, but um, and, and not that I did a whole whole lot. I just basically got to um, obviously safely see um, you know some friends and some family members. Um, but I wanted to really bring you guys along um, with me because, of course, you've not been to Connecticut with me, so um, I thought that that would really be a fun experience. However. Um, I really did get just caught up in the moment and, you know, it's been, uh, the last time that I was here was in August. Um, and so it's just, it's been a while, obviously. And so sometimes you just get really caught up in the moment. Um, you know, just, just living in that moment with friends and family and you don't even like think to take out the, um, the phone to, to get footage and things like that. Um, and neither does it, some, you know, sometimes it doesn't really feel like appropriate because um, again, you're just in the moment, genuinely catching up with, um, you know, people that you know and love. And so um, I do apologize about that, but um, I got another like 24 hours here. So, you know, I'm gonna try to get as much as I possibly can. Yeah, you guys, I'm actually here right now at um, an urgent care facility. I am going to, um, be screened for COVID. I don't have any symptoms or anything, but obviously with traveling and with being in the company of people. So um, since I'm at the tail end of my trip and I'm going to be preparing to go back home um, where my husband is and things like that, obviously um, I want to be very careful and mindful that, you know, I'm not um, unknowingly carrying anything back to him um and probably and i'm sure once i get back to maryland i will definitely um you know just screen again just to be sure my son and i are actually going to be headed back to maryland tomorrow so we'll leave out midday tomorrow so today um today is a is kind of a busy day um i have uh, I have a partnership with um, this brand that, with this organization actually, that um, I have to shoot some content for and send it over to them um, by the end of the day today. So clearly I need to get my look together. Um, and I know I'm over here looking like a hunter or girl, a hillbilly something. But um, it's so cold in Connecticut. I I brought like a spring jacket. Like I brought um, like my little um, my little trench coat. And um, I thought that that was going to be enough, but it it wasn't. So um, I said to my mom, I'm like I need like a a sweatshirt or a, a something to to put over. Um, and that's probably why you kind of hear this, not hoarseness, but kind of this like strain sound when I'm talking or whatever because I've literally been out here for the last like five days um, almost and have not had like an appropriate coat. Busy day today. I am going to, I have a facial at 145. Um, my cousin is actually an esthetician. Um, so if you are in Connecticut, actually, if you're going to Connecticut, um, if you're, yeah, if you live in Connecticut, I'm going to drop her um, business name here. Um, if you are looking for a black female esthetician, please look her up. Um, she provides great services and um, just the treatment of her clientele is really um, wonderful. She um, she does like a lot of special um, like offerings, both for like products, but also services. And like right now, she has like a um, a thing going for a sangria facial. And when you come in, you also get like um, a glass of sangria to to sip before you get started, or maybe after um, you wrap up 
but um, she is doing wonderful, wonderful things. So please look her up. It's Be Natural Beauty and her name is Diane. And um, yeah, you will definitely um, love the experience. So yeah, check her out. Hey you guys, so change of plans. I actually just um, went to a different location. Um, the location that I was at was like, it was taking a really long time. And so I called around to another location that was um, not far away from the original location. And they were like, there's no wait, there's actually nobody in there. So they were like, you could come right now. So hopefully um, I can go in now, get registered and be out of there. So um, hope, I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me, okay? I just talked to you on the phone um, about walking. Oh, yeah. No, you're fine. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. No E at the end. No E. Uh huh. I love your glasses. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> hey y'all okay so that wasn't too bad um hold on let me put some hand sanitizer and stuff on so as you guys saw that wasn't too bad it wasn't the one where they you know swab all into your brain um, it was, it wasn't too bad. She had, um, I asked her like, you know, how high will you guys be going up? And she was like, it stays in the nostril. So, um, that was good. Um, so yeah, basically now I just sit and wait 15 minutes. She said, if I receive a call, that means that I'm positive. And the doctor would be calling to let me know that I have a positive result. Um, but if I receive a text to come inside, then um, that's good news that, you know, you're negative. So, um, yeah, now I just sit and wait the 15 minutes and wait to see if I get either a call or a text. Um, I really like this facility. She said they're about a year old. Um, and um, it was like very clean inside. Um they're very professional um, and obviously pretty quick. Like I wish I had come here first um, because I was waiting probably about an hour um, at the other place. I received my results. I got the text, not the call. So we already know, <laughs> um, but no, my results were negative. Praise God for that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that obviously. Um, I am headed into Walmart. I need to get a car mount for my phone. Um, yeah, so I'm going to run in there, grab that, run over to Dunkin' Donuts, grab some coffee, run back to my mom's to pick some stuff up, then run somewhere else, and then run to my 145 appointment. So yeah, y'all are just going to be along for the ride. So buckle up, sis. Um, but yeah, I am headed into Walmart. It's crazy because um, there is not a Walmart like near me where I live in Maryland. Um, the, the nearest Walmart is probably like 40 minutes away. So needless to say, I am not driving 40 minutes away to get to a Walmart. So it's been a very long time since I've been inside of one, which is like crazy. Um, and I'm like, dare I say excited to see like what Walmart is talking about these days. So, um, yeah, I'm getting ready to head in there now. So let's go. Y'all, how about it is like very, very, very lightly, but it's definitely flurrying here. So I completely understand 
why I've been so cold. Or like why my little light jacket wasn't cutting it. Cause it's doggone about to, it's snowing, okay? It's snowing. Are you serious? Are you crazy? 